an influential investor group today urged shareholders in high street retailer JD Sports to vote down its pay package. JD Sports has done little to address concerns voiced at last year's annual meeting, when more than a fifth of investors voted against the remuneration report, according to a note to investors from Pensions and Investment Research Consultants PIRC. The sportswear giant has enjoyed a strong run of form in recent years, with record results in the year to February, profits rose by a quarter to hit £294.5 million. It has since expanded its operations in the U.S. Read more, JD Sports shares have jumped after record results however, PIRC said that the increase in executive chairman Peter Cowgill's pay was, not in line with the rest of the company. Cowgill's salary rose by 10.5%, compared to a head office average of 4.4%. There is no evidence that the company engaged with shareholders in relation to the significant opposition, nor is there any evidence that concerns behind the opposition have been addressed, PIRC said. Day Sports is 57% owned by Pentland Group, which did not vote against the remuneration report last year. PIRC also said investors should reject the firm's annual report and the re-election of Cowgill at its annual meeting on Thursday. No one individual should have unfettered powers of decision as the combining the two roles in one person represents a concentration of power that is potentially detrimental to board balance, effective debate, and board appraisal. PIRC said. Cowgill has served as chairman since 2004, but former chief executive Barry Brown left in 2014 and has not been replaced. Read more, JD Sports buys finish line for £396 million to land strong foothold in U.S. market.